There are two main consumers in the industry of carbon, and that's concrete and steel. So if we can drive carbon out of both concrete and steel, then we'll be making massive strides in driving our carbon footprint down. And we're here today looking at a low carbon reinforced concrete trial where we're using an alkali activated cementitious material along with a fibre reinforced polymer. One of the objectives of the project is to understand the embodied carbon and the life, through life carbon of traditional Portland cement with steel rebar and then compare that with the um, alkaline activated concrete which should have a better embodied carbon and then using a basalt fibre reinforcement. And really, it sh we should end it with a more durable solution because the non-metallic rebar doesn't corrode as steel would do when exposed. We're doing this innovation project to see if we can remove carbon from concrete and remove steel from our reinforced concrete structures. So the tests that we're carrying out are comparing the basalt fibre reinforcement in conventional concrete with basalt fibre reinforcement in an alkali activated cementitious material. What I mean by that, put simply, is it removes the high carbon cement from the concrete mix, replaces it with a material, a wonder product, that actually kickstarts the reaction required to make the concrete go hard. But it has no cement and therefore has a much reduced carbon footprint. The basalt fibre reinforcement does the same. Far, far lower carbon footprint than the conventional material we use of steel reinforcement. We produce a, a basalt fibre reinforced polymer, which simply put is an alternative to steel rebar made from basalt fibre with a polymer binding. Amazingly, four, four or five times lighter than steel. Uh, what's going on in the background today, we're laying our new low carbon concrete uh, a new innovative concrete from Tarmac. We, we see this type of concrete as, as becoming more of the norm. We're also looking very hard at alternatives to this, this product. The construction industry as a whole has got a great responsibility in terms of improving environmental outcomes and helping us all achieve the, the net zero carbon ambition by 2050. Uh, and trials like this one will, will really go a long way in helping us achieve that through the innovation and, and the, the, the new ways of working we can achieve. The solutions are not there for us to, to simply pick up and run with. We have to investigate them, we have to trial them, we have to test them, research them and convince our clients that what we're proposing works and that it will be the appropriate material to use in their permanent works.